Hello everyone. Welcome to my little show. I am Suzanne Marie and I'm with Psychic Pass. I uh, am here for a little bit, so I'm very, very happy that you've come and you're listening and you're watching and we I just appreciate all the support and all the the happiness that comes out of this every week. And so I just had to say that. Happy, happy new year. I wasn't here last week, but I'm here today. It is 2024 and I'm excited for the new year. We are still dealing with uh the Sagittarius moon, or no, the Gemini moon. Get grounded, okay. The Gemini moon, and uh, that's got to do with a lot of conversations that need to be taking place. And so we have that until the end of this month. So um, if something is very urging you to say something that you're kind of holding back or, or uh, uh, holding back, then yeah, there needs to be that conversation. Don't hold back. Um, we have a, how, a Quanda from Atlanta, Georgia. What a beautiful name. Thank you. How are you this evening? I'm good, how are you? Good, I'm doing okay. I'm trying to get used to 2024. Yeah. And I don't have it any, I don't much. have it. I don't have any experience. So <laughs> <laughs> um what can I help with tonight for you? Um that's my um uh, finances and love life. Okay. Let me see what spirit says. Hang on a second. They're saying that uh, as far as your finances go, that it's been challenging, but you've also done well. So it seems like there's sort of a, a wave of um, up and down or in and out kind of a feeling. Um, they also say that you're not you're not exactly working from your passion. Um, you may be good at, very good at something, but Spirit is saying that it's not really a passion for you. Okay. I have a feeling you'll be led to something that, that makes you happy. Um, yeah. Relatively soon, I think 2020, 2024. But I feel like um, your your goal is not passion, but uh, it's spirits. Okay, so your guides really want you to to enjoy and and to feel a passion with your work. And so I would suggest with that to listen listen to your inner voice for what what feels right to you. And I know that takes a, a, a time out of your day. And I know um, it's just kind of an annoyance, but um, if you feel pushed or, or led to a certain thing, um, be patient with that and, and explore it, okay? And I feel like okay. that's the next months that, that you will start um, getting led and and you get to explore some of the things that make you happy and peaceful for what the work you do. Let me see. Okay. They also tell me that you're highly, highly intelligent. They're giving me <laughs> that, that insight that you are highly intelligent. And um, from what I can understand from spirit, um, you don't know how amazing you are. 
is what I'm getting. So take that from your guides. Um, so, so I wonder, ha as far as the love goes, have you learned a lot? I have. Because um, life is a it goes in circles, and and we keep repeating the same pattern until we learn from it. And then when we learn from it, it's no longer a part of the returning circle. And I feel like some of the the gentlemen that, that you've been with all have the same kind of same quality or same habit or behavior. If you understand what I'm saying, um, that could yeah. be completely different. And that one thing is there, always there. Um, but you know, I see too, when you're, when you're attracted to someone, you use your brains. And I feel like someone is coming in, I'm getting late February, someone's coming in. And okay. I would suggest you let your heart do the talking. Um, yeah, let your heart, always listen to those feelings um, when you first meet someone. And the minute you see those red flags from that circle, you need to step back no matter who it is. Step back okay. and don't that. You know what that, that feeling is um, because Spirit is telling me you have experience with the same darn thing. So when you see it, yeah. step back and let that person go because it's, it's going to be the same ride. And you've already bought the ticket and took it. Um, so we don't need to do that anymore. But I feel like somebody outside of that, that comfort zone is going to be coming in in late March and I do believe that you have good karma together, good conversation together, um, and, and the beliefs and and um, boundaries are the same. Okay. I believe his name starts with a B. And you may oh, feel a little, may feel a little intimidated. Oh, okay. Um, but that's okay. Um, Spirit is saying, go ahead. This is not the same the same ride and the same ticket. It's a different one. And I feel like you're, the lessons are over. This last time, you were like, I will never, ever, ever. <laughs> and I think you meant it. So that that's the, um, I think it's an attracting, attracting thing that one, number one, we attract the things that we're comfortable with. And number two, we attract things that we already know. And yeah. you don't want that anymore. You know it and, and you've been comfortable with it, um, but it's not, it's not for you. So we're just gonna throw that out and uh, bring in the good things, bring in the things that we haven't experienced yet. Does that make sense? Yeah. Um, do you have any questions? I have a few minutes. Do, do you have any more questions so, about those two so things? Is that, is that what my, so I have, I lost my sister in nine years ago. I lost my cousin seven years ago. So Saturday yeah. morning and Sunday morning, I dreamed about both of them. I think they're guiding you. I think what their presence is trying to tell you is that keep going on and keep looking forward and hold on to hope. One of those people you just mentioned didn't have much faith or hope, but both of them want you to have faith and hope because you're, you're, you got a good, you've got a good future for yourself. Um, and they are around you. Um, it was one just of them, so real. 
<laughs> that's that's a real conversation. That's a real conversation. When it feels like they're in in body, they have talked to you. Then they have visited you. You've been you you've been reached and contacted. That's how that you were on the same wavelength as I am when I'm doing my mediumship uh, readings. They came to you, and if they so, said anything, um, I would take it as real. They were there. It wasn't uh -huh. just a dream. See, it, it's easier to contact us when we're sleeping because we're in that consciousness the REM sleep for consciousness. Yeah. It's easier. It's 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 called dead time, you know, um, other names, but that's when we're more apt to have spiritual occurrences. And unfortunately, we're sleeping. But they did come. They love you very much, both of them. <laughs> Um, was your sister a bully? Because she's showing me some kind of uh, bullying. Uh, she was she was kind of laid back, unless she was her courage was up with the drinking. Um, okay, she's the one that must not have had much faith or hope. No, but she but didn't. she 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 does give me this bully. A bully kind of energy. They're okay. They're they're on the other side. They love you very much, and they are constantly visiting you. So don't be surprised if you get some more dreams. They come to me a whole lot. Usually, my sister I, is cooking or we're driving. Oh, and I I do see that. I see a uh, a lot of stones. Uh, like a stone dri driveway. Um, yeah. So, so I hope that I have been of some help to you tonight. I enjoyed you talking have. with you. And um, yeah, thank you so much. You have a great night. Look at my necklace. You have a great night and a great new year. And please keep your faith and hope up because good things are happening. <laughs>